Hi everyone, so in this video you will learn how to use Flexbox grid CSS file. This is basically a grid system which is based on the Flexbox. You have already seen similar grid system in the bootstrap framework where there is a grid of 12 columns and you will get the same functionality in this. But bootstrap framework is quite vast, it will have a lot of features for example models, buttons and a lot of other stuff. But in this case you will only get a grid. So if you are looking for only 12 column grid then this is a thing which you actually need. So all the class names which you are going to use in this flexbox grid are similar to bootstrap framework. Uh, you can see here call access. This is basically for the extra small device. SM is for the small devices. Uh, for example, a tablet. MD is for the medium size. For example, the normal desktops. And LG is for the larger screens. So this is a pretty basic documentation about how to use this grid system. You can have a look over it or you can watch this video to learn how to actually use it so let's get started so first thing which you need and that is a cdl link so click on this github and in the github you will have this cdl link just simply copy this and paste it in your html file i have already done so and we also need some basic styling so this is the style sheet which i have created you will see how it actually works when i will uncomment these things let's first see how container container fluid actually works so just uh, uncomment this save it and open this index.html file so as you can see this is the behavior in case of a container so if you are using this container class you will have some margin on the left hand side and the right hand side so it will not expand completely if i'll make it container fluid you will get this kind of output so it's basically expanding and you will see very less margin and here also very less margin so depending upon your requirement you can go with the container or container fluid so as i said previously it will be a dull column script and as you can see we have two divs here and they both have classes called access six so this will span across six columns and this will span across six columns so 7 to 12 will be this and 1 to 6 will be this now I'll just comment out this and move it to the next section also as i told you before that uh, access stands for extra small sm stands for the small devices md stands for medium size lg stands for the large screens so depending upon your screen size, uh, you can have a grid system. For example, in the extra small device, I want this to occupy only six columns, but in tablets, I want it to occupy only four columns. Now let's save this and go to browser and now reduce the size of this. Okay. So as of now, you can see it's a tablet size and this is occupying four columns and this is occupying four columns we still have a space for the another column if i'll uh, make it a little smaller then it will be six columns for this and six columns for this let's see this you can see so this is working absolutely fine so depending upon your design you can specify how much columns a div should occupy or span across now let's comment out this part and move to another part that is fluid width uncomment this and here as you can see we have only uh, one row here and one div which will span across 12 columns so this is the output okay if i want to reduce the width of this uh, row i can do so i need to make use of flex basis here it will be call access 12 and let's make the width uh, 50 percent sorry it should not be width actually it should be flex, flex basis save it and this is the outcome if i want to reduce the width further i can make it 30 percent 10 percent whatever i feel right so this will be the output uh, let's comment out this part and jump to this part actually this will be a little tricky
Now in this section, we are having three divs and this will span across six columns. This will span across six columns and this will span across two columns. So it is six, six to 14 columns. So what will actually happen? Now, uh, let me remove this part first. So what will actually happen? This will jump to the next row. Save it. And this is the output. So this is six columns and this is six columns and this is two columns. Now if I want to reduce the width of this thing, I can do so. I need to do same thing. Call access six. Sorry for this. And flex basis will be let's make it 30 percent okay and this will be the outcome so you can see now it's 30 percent 30 percent and this is coming up on this row now if i'll make it 100 percent then in that case it will have no impact because this can only occupy up to 50 percent it will not go 60 percent 70 percent or 80 percent you can make it less for example 40 30 let's show let me show you let's make it 45 percent so they are moving this side. Let's make it 40%. Save it. Now you can see the third box is here. First box is 40%, second box is 40%, and this third box is basically occupying the rest of the 20%. So this is how it actually work. You cannot make it higher, but you can reduce the width by using flex basis. Now let's comment out this part and jump to offsets. So this is the output which you have right now and here we are having offset of three uh, let me remove this first to see the actual output first save it and it is spanning across six columns and if i want to move it on the right hand side and have an offset of three columns in that case i can make it call access offset three so there will be empty space for the three columns and this will occupy six columns and there will be empty space for the three columns so basically it's in the middle if i'll increase it if i'll make it around six that will go all the way towards right so this is how offset actually works it will basically push your box towards the right let's comment out this and move to the next part auto width so as you can see uh, on top we're specifying this box should span across how many columns so it should span across six columns two columns four columns five columns but if you're not sure about it uh, depending upon your content how much columns it should actually take in such a scenario you can just simply keep it as like this you should not specify any columns here just keep it call access call sm call md and this grid will basically figure out how much uh, column it should allot to your content now just save this and see the output you can see it's spanning across 12 columns so this is basically 4 4 and 4 if i'll add more content to it okay depending upon the content we will have more boxes in that row so this is the output so content is not much so they are nicely fitting in the entire one row and because we have six boxes here so I can assume it will be around two columns, two columns, two columns. Each one is spanning across two columns in this case. Now let's comment out this thing and move to the next part. So this was the auto width. Now we have nested grids. Now this is a bit complicated, but I'll try to explain my best here. And here we have one row and this one div element, which basically span across six columns. But here, inside this uh, box we have another row and this is also spanning across six this is basically half of this if i'll make it one more here then this thing and this thing will form a 12 column but that will be inside this call access six let me show you first because that will give you a clear picture see so from here to here we have only six columns based on this parent row okay and inside that row we have this another grid 
and this will have six columns and this will have six columns so from here to here it will be 50 percent and we are dividing it further into 50 percent by using this xs6 and xs6 here you can look over the documentation to understand a bit more about it now let's have a look over the alignments just uncomment this and this is the output so if i want to align it somewhere center i need to make use of center axis here okay you can see it will come in the center if i want to take it all the way towards the right then i have to make it end axis here like this now let's have a look over the vertical alignment so just comment out this part and uncomment this so this is the output which we have right now and there's a class big so let's increase the size of this thing let's make it height uh, around 500 pixels so you can see we have this box around 500 pixel in height and they are the small ones so if i want to align them vertically here i can make use of middle axis okay I want to take them on the top then as you saw it will be top axis in case of a bottom I have to make it bottom axis see so axis here is for the extra small devices so I'm using axis here but depending upon your requirement you can make it medium small whatever you feel right let's move to the next part so the next part here is space distribution so space distribution will be around or between uh, let me show you what I actually mean with this around or between. So if I'll put around axis here, then there will be equal space distribution on the left hand side, right hand side, even in the middle. But if I'll make it between, this space distribution will be only in the between the boxes. So basically, you will not have any space on the right and left hand side. This is just a padding which is offered by the grid system, but in this case when you make use of between there will be a space between the boxes like you can see here if you want to see again i can show it to you you can see we are getting a space here but in case of between we are not getting any space now let's move to the next part which is ordering you can also change the order of your columns so here just uncomment this And this is the output so if I want to make this one first I can put first access here see and if I want to make this one last I can make it last access here so this is the output now let's comment this out and move to the last part which is reversing and comment this and you can see this is the output so by default it is always from left to right if i want to make it from right to left i have to make use of reverse class here yeah. that's it you can see this is the output i hope you got the point how it actually works if you still have some doubts about this flexbox grid css you can always go to the documentation page and have a look over it see you in the next video have a nice day